Bruce Lee's one-inch punch is one of the most iconic feats in martial arts history. With just an inch of distance, Bruce could send a full-grown man flying backward, as if struck by a cannon. But how was such explosive power even possible from such a short range? The answer lies not in brute strength, but in a masterful combination of technique, timing, energy transfer, and total body unity, all guided by Bruce Lee's deep understanding of both martial arts and human movement. 1. What is the one-inch punch? The one-inch punch is a close-range strike where the fist starts just an inch away from the target, but still delivers tremendous impact. Bruce Lee famously demonstrated it during martial arts exhibitions in the 1960s, stunning audiences and challenging what they thought was physically possible. It wasn't magic, it was mastery. 2. The Science of Kinetic Chain Bruce Lee's power didn't come from his arm alone. It came from the entire body working in perfect harmony, from the ground up. His feet pushed off the ground. His hips rotated and transferred energy. His torso and shoulders whipped the force forward. And his fist delivered it all in a single explosive moment. This is known as the kinetic chain, a principle used by elite athletes in everything from baseball to boxing. Bruce had refined it to an art. 3. Relaxation and Tension Control Another key element was Bruce Lee's control over muscle tension. He remained loose and relaxed, right until the moment of impact, when he explosively tensed the necessary muscles. This sudden transition from soft to hard gave his punches a snapping whip-like power. He often said, Be like water. It can flow, or it can crash. The one-inch punch was the crash. 4. Focused Energy and Precision Bruce Lee trained his strikes with laser-like focus. The one-inch punch wasn't about pushing, it was about penetrating energy into the target. He aimed not just to hit the surface, but to shock the internal structure of his opponent. His punch was fast, direct, and devoid of wasted motion. It struck with perfect timing and anatomical alignment, maximizing impact with minimal effort. 5. Chi Sao and Wing Chun Roots Bruce Lee's original martial arts training in Wing Chun emphasized close-range combat and energy sensitivity. Exercises like Chi Sao, Sticky Hands, trained him to deliver strikes from extremely short distances with speed and power. The one-inch punch evolved from these close-contact principles, refined and amplified through Bruce's own innovations. 6. Training the Invisible Bruce didn't just train his body, he trained his mind and intention. He practiced meditation, visualization, and internal energy focus. He believed that true power was not just physical, it was mental and spiritual. His one-inch punch wasn't just about muscle, it was about clarity, intention, and explosive purpose in a single motion. The Legacy of the One-Inch Punch Bruce Lee's one-inch punch remains one of the most legendary demonstrations of